is up my fellow otakus welcome back to my youtube channel today's video is me drawing mio from my happy marriage honestly it's my all-time favorite anime at the moment the art style the storyline the characters i absolutely love with all my heart um i would highly recommend watching it it's currently on netflix and if you're trying to get into watching anime i'd highly recommend just that anime and uh, quite a few I mentioned previously like Marmalade Boy um, or Boys Over Flowers they're very romance based animes but it gets you into watching anime and just looking into what genres you like and they're just feel good comfort animes to watch so I'd highly recommend watching this one um, I did try to be artsy with how I display i don't know my art display by using fairy lights and let me know if you guys like it i feel like it's more cozy but yeah maybe i need to dim the lights a bit more but you know it you girls trying to figure it out but some of you guys have been messaging me on my tiktok asking for artist tips and advice which i feel like artist i, so I don't know if it's just me i don't feel confident whenever I draw. I always look at the negatives of what I've done and compare myself to other people all the time. And yeah, I'm still learning. And I feel like that's the good thing about doing something arty or music based is that you're constantly learning. Like there's no end to it. And I think that's what makes it exciting. So whenever I'm having like artist blog, I tend to look at like other artists and their art styles and I try and incorporate their art styles into my style and honestly it improves your art a lot more than just sticking to what you know and it makes you look at things a little bit differently. Um, the other thing that I've started do doing, I was about to say drawing, but doing um, is I'm a left-handed, I'm a left-handed gal and I have the issue of smudging every time I draw, no matter how I hold my pencil, it smudges. Um, so I've started like rubbing out the outline after I've drawn it in pencil and just start doing the art, like line art. I know it's a very basic thing, which all artists do, but I never used to do that just because I never found the right pens for me. And I've started using, using I think it's Faber-Castell and the Ahuhu line art pens or fine liners and they're absolutely brilliant and so I do that more um in my drawings now so if you ever see me in a YouTube video just rubbing out what I've done don't worry I'm not getting rid of it it's just it prevents me from smudging and it makes the art look a bit better and more professional and yeah I don't know what I'm going on about but I've started doing that especially now that I've started doing tattoo designs which let me know if you guys want a video of me designing tattoos i was thinking to do a spooky version as halloween's coming up but let me know down in the comments down below and yeah that's honestly all the hacks i've really got all the other hacks involve like clay art or painting which i'll be talking about those probably separately um because i do plan on painting and doing clay a lot more i am planning on making little clay ghosts like i did last year which if you've been around for a while, I did do a video of that and then it got deleted, so oops.